Hey, Brian from Film Direct here. Just want to take a few minutes and uh, do a little tutorial on how to set up the Accurate program uh, for doing a half tone dots on an inkjet printer. Um, the first thing you want to do is open the program and then um, go, ahead, go ahead and go to File, Setup. And this will bring up this dialog box. Um, the first thing you want to do is pick the printer you're using. Um, I'm just going to pick Epson 1400. Um, here you have roll width and sheet size. Um, um, for the small printer, I'm just going to pick the sheet size. Um, 1318 is probably the most common size. It has all the available size papers for that particular printer. Um, the multi-black feature is a feature that um, you can use with Accurip. Basically, it'll print all black. It'll print black from every channel. Um, so if you have that if you have that option installed on your printer, just go ahead and click the multi-black. If you don't, if you're just using regular Epson ink, or if you're using like a clear black solution, uh, keep that turned off. Um, under print resolution, um, this will determine the detail in the in the design. Um, by default, uh, 1440 is a pretty good place to start. If you're using really a dense black ink, you can bump it down to 720, 720. Uh, maybe you might have to go heavy. It just depends, you know, you're just going to have to play around with it. But I, I usually start at 1440, 720 medium and um, go from there. If it looks too light, maybe bump it up to heavy. Or if, um, or if you need more detail, bump it up here. Um, I, I tend to go with 720, 720 heavy. That's one of my favorite profiles. Um, Bi-directional speed, you can click this. That means the printer is going <coughs> to, excuse me, the printer is going to print in both directions. It'll, um, it'll make the printer print a little bit faster. The, it may, it may um, make the detail of the dots just a little, a uh, little less sharp. So just try it out on your printer and see how it works. Um, how is your printer connected, local or network? That's if you have you have if you have it on a network, you're gonna have to find the IP address, etc. Um, if you have if most printers are just hooked up by USB ports or whatnot, um, you can get more information on this in the the um, Accurip manual. Um, how would you like it screened? Basically, this is the part where you just you can pick the what shape you want the dot, either round, diamond, line, or ellipse. Uh, round's probably the most common. Um, lock screens. This means it's basically gonna it's basically gonna lock same degree, same angle, and same frequency for every color of the design. That's probably the most standard um, standard uh, setting right there. Twenty two and a half degrees is probably the most standard um, line angle. Um, the frequency is forty five. The lower the frequency, the bigger the dot. Uh, forty five is a really common dot size. Um, 55 and 60, 65 are also pretty common. Um, the higher you go, the harder it's going to be to burn the screens and capture the dots. Um, so that's about it for the for the accurate setup. I'm going to leave these default settings set up, and then um, we're going to go ahead and, and test a test a print. So we'll go to Illustrator. Uh, we'll create a new print document. You, you're going to want to set up the the print document to whatever. Um, Either whatever size paper you're doing, or if you're doing on a roll, you can you can um, set it up to whatever set it up to whatever you want the final film output to be. So here we <clears throat> here we have our document set. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a couple simple shapes. Uh, I'm gonna assign some spot colors to it. Let's say it's orange. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's do like a brown. So we're going to go ahead and print this. So what you would do now is just go to File. Um, let's go to File Print. Defined by driver, you're going to pick the, um, the, app, the Accurip to Epson 1400. That's the print driver we just, that's the profile we just created. Um, defined by driver, let's go to Custom. And um, output, let's go to composite. We want to go to separations. And um, here's, our two, um, here's our two colors right here, the 1395 and the hexachrome orange. So if we go ahead and hit print, that's going to that's gonna send, send it to the printer right there. So that's how you print from uh, Illustrator. It's pretty simple. Okay, that's about it. Thanks.